Hello, my swell pretties. It's your favorite butt buddy, Drew Pickles from the Limey Sponge. Today I will be going to the mall in Willamette. Now you may all may be scratching your heads wondering, why the hell am I going to a mall in Willamette? Well, to give a bit of background information in the place, it is a location where the first Dead Rising game was taking place at the time. Wow, it was back in 2006. I feel so old now. Also, you also are wondering what the hell is this Willamette place? Well, you see, the city known as Willamette is in Colorado, where it is the main setting of Dead Rising and Dead Rising 4, with the mall as its more specific location during the events of the first game. The town is located in a valley surrounded by green hills and vegetation. That sounds very swell, eh? Well, you may also ask me on how in earth am I going to get to the mall of Willamette? Well, for starters, I will be using my transwarp machine to get to Willamette, then I will appear to be inside a zombie-infested mall. When I looked around the mall to see zombies, there was of course a long line up consists of the following, VTubers in various different forms, YouTubers inching for their next AdSense paycheck, zombies that like to rip people apart for brains, Karens with their bratty children, autistic man children, more autistic man children. Now I know I said what was in the line, before you get the idea of why I say it, so there is no doubt about it. I will then head for the security room in the mall, where I would meet none other than Frank West. He said that he was looking for answers behind this Santa Capiz of bullshit that no one gives a rat's ass about. I would then meet two other men named Brad and Otis who were surprised to see me. At first they thought that I was the Barney Bunch version of myself, but I told them that I was Linus Bunch Group Pickles to which it made them sign relief, since my gay counterpart and his butt buddies would turn Willamette into Swell Med or Drew Med whatever he likes to call it. I also met a woman named Jessie, no not Team Rocket Jessie, that has a partner with James and a meowth that talks, I am talking about Jessie McCartney. There we had it my pretties, I decided to see what was happening in the security room, only to find that zombies have infested the mall to which I thought it was like Dawn of the Dead type of vibes, so that makes it swell, since the Lion Queen loves anything to do with zombies. I would then leave the security room with Frank West to the food court of the mall, to which meant we had to cross a zombie infested park. In the way there, we saw Ronald the Pinkus Clown McDonald from the Barney Bunch throwing his famous poopy cheeseburgers at the zombies. We paid no attention to him, as he's with the Barney Bunch. If he is there, that would mean that the Barney Bunch is there as well, so we had to keep in mind not to say the magic word. As we headed for the food court in the mall, we would find a man known as Carlo Keys, who happens to be the older brother of his sister known as Isabella Keys. Carlito was trolling people on his phone just to not only piss some people off but to also be a jackass that he is. I wonder what he was doing, only to see him look at me and ask me in what was I doing looking at his own? Well I said to him that he is trolling people, then he would say that he was only joking around, only to have his sister Isabella taking his phone away from him. What the fuck? Isabella, what the hell was that for? Carlito would say, as his sister took his phone away. I just got a message from Space Voyager 1701 saying that you were prank calling him earlier with toilet sounds and even put some NSFW sounds in the line. That is not even funny. As Isabella said that, she would give Carlotto a death glare that meant for him to stop trolling and pranking people. As Carlotto stormed off, Isabella would say that Carlotto only did that because he has pranked people like that before, although most of them didn't end well. Isabella then said she will be off to tell Lion Queen about Voyager getting pranked by Carlotto, so he would be told a very swell lesson for that. Ha ha ha. As me and Frank headed for the Wonderland Plaza, we would smell something not very swell, and we saw that Barney Bunch Group Pickles and his butt buddies were making some really disgusting food to serve. When he saw us, he asked if we would be interested in some of his famous poopy pies and etc. Frank West would say that it is disgusting, and in why would anyone like to eat that? I know that Barney Bunch Group Pickles and his butt buddies like to eat disgusting things, so that doesn't surprise me one way or another. Barney Bunch Group Pickles said that he and his butt buddies were only trying to make the mall of Willamette more swell. Then Frank would get disgusted at the stuff that my gay counterpart said about what they would do in the mall to make it sweller. Just before Frank West could say the magic word, I covered his mouth and dragged him away, pretty much saying that we have to get going. That was a close one, if Frank West had said the magic word, then my gay counterpart would have his bum bum pounded by his 300 mile long meat stick. We then headed back to the other part of the mall the way we came from. Once we got to where the movie theater was, we both saw a cult known as the True Eye Cult. The leader Sean would say, what the fuck are you two doing here? Then I would end up using my swell moves and take out the raincoat cults one by one with the help of Frank West. Aren't you Barney Bunch Group Pickles that like to make things sweller? 
Sean would ask me. Then I would say that I'm Liney Sponge Group Pickles and that the Barney Bunch were trying to make the small sweller in the Wonderland Plaza. As Sean heard that he would say, he and his butt buddies took over the movie theater earlier, and they threw a bunch of goopy pies at him with goopy cheeseburgers. I would tell him that Barney Bunch Group Pickles likes to say that, in the box that Sean would have a survivor in the game inside, only to have Barney Bunch Group Pickles come out to say that he was wanting to prank him for a while. Then he would ask Sean if he would like some goopy cheeseburgers. You're a sick fuck for liking that, Sean would say, only to realize that he said the magic word. A sick fuck you say? I will show you the true definition of a sick fuck. As Barney Bunch Group Pickles said that, he began to pound the cult leader's ass and it was so swell and funny that Frank West took photos of it going on and it sounded like a not a bad idea to say the magic word not too bad that this wasn't an Iron Yoshi video but then again, he has done videos like Barney Bunch so we all know that and now for the final part which was 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 Peg, that was swell. After Sean had his ass pounded, he would then head off out of the mall and never to be seen again along with the true I cult members. So Frank and I headed off to kill some zombies and etc. As we were in the mall, Jesse would call Frank and said that Cube Muppet was trying to get his satisfaction, only to have his ass kicked by Isabella and Brad who kicked him out of the mall and sent him back to the Barney Bunch universe. As we headed for the security room, Frank West said that Barney Bunch Group Pickles and his butt buddies were trying to unleash their swellness. However Isabella said that Carlo has took care of them earlier, so they are not back in their own universe. As we were in the mall hallway, Frank along with Isabella and me were seeing some laughter coming from the Pokemon. It was none other than Team Rocket's Meowth. You know, the Meowth that can talk and say words, swell Meowth was spray painting the mall with swear words and some offensive words about people in the mall. Meowth would laugh along with Jesse and James who happened to be part of Team Rocket. Why the hell are Team Rocket here? Well I have no idea why, I bet they are just in the mall to cause trouble. As Frank called out to Team Rocket, he would then ask them on just what the hell are they doing in Willamette and in what their business is, and I added by saying that, if they are here to look for a Pikachu to capture, they would have no luck, since they are in Dead Rising Universe and not in the Pokemon Universe. As soon as I said that, Team Rocket had their attention to us, surprised to see me along with Isabella and Frank with me. They wondered in why I was here, and then I would tell Team Rocket that I am here to do a Drew Pickles Goes to video, since the Lion Queen wanted to do one of me going to a mall in Dead Rising. Godfather fucking damn it, I just broke the fourth wall, but Meowth would then shove the pieces of the fourth wall up his ass like oh, wow, how come that doesn't hurt him? Whatever then, let's keep this story going. Then Team Rocket would do their motto as usual, so let me say the motto just, because why the hell now? The motto they always say would go like this, prepare for trouble. And make it double. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. Surrender now, or prepare to fight. Meowth. That's right. After their motto was finished, Isabella had told them to get lost, since they pranked her earlier by dumping a bucket of paint all over her car and herself and it was not very swell, not to mention that the paint stains were super hard to get off and had to bleach most of her clothing. Jessie would tell me to let her and James take over the line sponge, however, well I would not let her, since I am the swellest man in the universe and that she and James along with me have always liked to pull pranks and cause trouble. They would get triggered and scream like how Bill Jensen does when people troll him. I would then get an idea and play some very loud music of the South Park theme song, only to have Team Rocket scream due to the music in the PD system being too loud. Stop with the ear rap. They would all scream like how Bill Jensen does, they can be just a whiny, as usual like in the actual Pokemon show. Frank West would then get an idea and say, Hey Team Rocket, I see Pikachu on the roof of the mall. As Frank said that Isabella would then have a TNT explosion-like device that would cause the ground underneath Team Rocket to explode, only to blast them off through the roof of the mall and out of sight. As she does this, we can all hear Team Rocket screaming, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. As they screamed that, they disappear and we smiled at our victory, knowing that Team Rocket will be back, but at least they will not cause any more trouble for now. As I thanked Isabella and Frank West for helping me stop Team Rocket, Isabella said that she has a favor to ask me and I would ask what it is. She would then whisper something in my ear and I get the idea of what she was saying. 
it was something NSFW to which I get what she meant by that. I would then head back to the security room with Frank and Isabella and we would all celebrate. Don't worry about Carlotto. He is probably in his hideout doing whatever he is doing, so we won't pay any attention to him. I would then have a swell NSFW time with Isabella in one of the rooms, so I will keep this a secret and hope that my wife Charlotte along with my three girlfriends, Jenny, Lindy and Little Rock don't find out about my swell fun time with Isabella, otherwise they may kill me for this. Well after that fun celebrating us blasting Team Rocket off again from the mall, I would then use a transwarp machine to get back to the Linus Punch universe, having to be tired out from all the swell fun time I had in Willamette. Wow, this sounds like Super D Duper Zombie Killing Team Rocket Blasting Swell. I think I will go to the Mall of Willamette right now. See you later my swell pretties and be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe as well as ring the bell for notifications to when the Lion Queen uploads a new video. We will see you all next time in a Drew Pickles video my pretties, and also have a good day, morning, night, evening, wherever your time zones are, and I will be back with another Drew Pickles video. <laughs>